Hello there and welcome back. In this video I'm going to continue my object-oriented programming series with the design patterns I was showing you before and this time I would like to show you how you can implement the so-called facade or facade I'm not sure how you can uh, pronounce it correctly but basically this is a very interesting uh, design pattern and uh, it is very similar to the factory method <coughs> let me show you so basically when you had the factory method you created a meta class and a meta function and then you created the actual class Overridden the function, and then you have this factory which know that each of the classes that are going to be called by their names will implement that, that abstract function, and uh, <coughs> it is just simply called the abstract function. But now, this uh, facade is a little bit different because uh, the basic idea behind this is that you have some legacy or older code base and you want to provide a wrapper or an API to some functionality in that code base and you want to relieve the developer from the stress of uh, investigating how to call specific functions which are more complex than let's say a method call or a query of a property and uh, the touch the design pattern was born <coughs> and uh, I'm going to demonstrate it for you with a traveling agency or a traveling agent in a sense that you are the customer you go to the shop and you tell them that you want to travel to Greece or wherever you would like to travel and uh, let's see how it goes let's set the syntax to python and uh, <coughs> we are going to have the travel organizer which will inherit from the object we will have this init function so the first argument we will say that travel organizer let me arrange the travel for you And destination. So here we will specify to the details that you said that you want to travel to, let's say, Athens. The destination is destination and just leave it here. So what do you need to travel? You need to decide if you want to go by bus, plane or with your own car or uh, you want to go with, with stopping and uh, so you need to have this mean, means of transportation to let's say <coughs> so so means of transport equals transporter and the type of travel 
is going to be given to the transporter and the type of travel is going to be here. So you will tell the transporter that you want to go by bus, by plane or with your own car and so on. And tough book travel. Now we would like to implement the transporter. The object as a base class. The init cell and the type of travel. How about that? We will pass the destination also as a keyword argument. And let's go further. Let me save it. So <coughs> print arranging transport to destination by means format destination type of travel and needs to be specified to and save it and def book travel cell and destination destination type of travel. This way we will have this transporter instance know the necessary details and I will say that if self dot type of travel equals to own car then we will say Nothing to book the customer uses his her own car. Now if self the type of travel <coughs> plane booking seats for Traveling to destination by plane south of destination. And now if so, that type of travel ah, almost bus. by bus cool and yeah this was the transporter and we would need to have somewhere to stay let's say a hot photo so bus auto here is going to up. No, in it. And let's see. Double call and 
room for customers. Let's give it a triple dash so we can separate this. So room free self return true and book room self if self room free then booking room for customer print checking if there are any rooms left free <coughs> so what we need is means of sleeping it's going to be the hotelier and book room and arrange food stuff for the customers dot arrange food <coughs> what else do we need mm. let's say we would like to do some road trip so, if we are in Greece, we would like to visit some places. So, we will use the init function, stating that arranging some site C E. Customers F arrange tour self print arranging some fancy places to visit. Cool, and of course, in the end. There is you for the customer. Which is going to inherit from an object. And you will initialize it with a name. And you or me. Traveling dear name. <clears throat> and talk to agents. So send. Asking agent this way it comes. So we will have this travel organizer. And we will say that the manager should arrange a travel 
to the destination of Greece and the type of travel should be by plane. I have never been on a plane before, so yeah. And <coughs> to see the end of the line for the booking process, we will say that thank you, Mr. Manager, for arranging us this beautiful weekend. So let's save it and me will see you. The name is Dania and me should talk to agent and save it. Okay. <clears throat> so the next one is to show you how you can utilize it. No, not here. But here. Okay, let's clear it and run it. Did I save it? I said it. Woohoo! Travel organizer is now to book room. What? Ah, ha, 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 almost. Now it should be better. Let's clear the screen. So, what is happening? Woohoo, we are traveling. Asking agent to arrange this weekend. Travel organizer says that may arrange a travel for you. The destination is Greece. Arranging transport to destination Greece by means plane. Booking seats for traveling to Greece by plane. Arranging room for customers. Checking if there are any rooms left for free. Booking room for customer. Arranging food for a customer. And thank you, Mr. Manager. For arranging this beautiful book. So, I think this should give you a pretty good idea about what you can achieve and how you can achieve with this uh, design pattern. I think it's actually useful and very easy to understand and use. So, you can build it into your scripts and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a like and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.